Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tell. Today uh, is the first episode of the Learn segment and I thought we would start it off with uh, what perception and awareness actually signify. Perception. We'll start with perception. Uh, what is perception actually? Perception is to me, how you see life, what you see in your environment, what you see in your world around you, uh, how you perceive your life around you. Perception can keep changing for different people, even if they are in the same kind of environment as you are. Uh, if you look at your life and you see Sadness, heartache, danger, uh, and uh, a altogether generally horrible life. You have to understand that that's just a perception of your life. Again, based on uh, a belief system that has been inculcated within you over a period of many, many years of identifying that life as true. You tend to see people, environments, uh, information, everything that comes your way resonating on that, um, on those lines, let me put it that way, of life not being great. Life is not really uh, not great. Life can be can change as you want it to change. It it is it isn't written in stone that this is how your life's gonna be. This was your experience. This has been your experience or, or belief of something that has happened in the past. This is what you've learned about life. But life has a lot more than just heartache and pain. If that's what you've focused on, if that's what you've got out of life. Life has got a lot of laughter, life has got a lot of love, life has got a lot of um, happiness in it. But because of a lot of people's experiences in life not being that great, you tend to believe that life is only going to be heartache and struggle. It isn't true. Now, this is where perception comes into, into play. Now, you will see a lot of people in your life that actually have a great life, have a very happy, carefree life. It could be uh, from a financial standpoint, it could be from an emotional standpoint, it could be from a relationship standpoint, environmental standpoint, anything. But they have a great life. They love what they are, what they are experiencing in life. It's not because uh, they were lucky to get it. It's only because they're focused on what they want it to be. Life isn't a uh, a place where some people get it great and some people don't. Uh, I'm sorry to burst the bubble, but that isn't how life is. Life is a place which shows you what you want in it. It is like a genie in a lamp. You are a, the person who's asking for those favors. The only difference being when you're asking for those favors or you're asking for those gifts, a lot of us might pray to God or um, wish for something or whatever it may be. But internally, deeper within, you somewhere believe that it's not going to happen for you or that you're not worth it or you're not good enough for it. It isn't true again. None of that is actually true because what you get in life is what you focus on. And initially, yes, it is a little difficult because you believe otherwise. The difficulty in life comes only because you believe it is going to be difficult. Life isn't a place um, that punishes you. It only gives you what you want. So. It's like reading a book. What do you... Uh, 
see in a book. You see words, right? These words come together to create a sentence. The sentences come together to create a paragraph and uh, so on and so forth to give you an idea of what it needs to convey, right? And that same book will have different interpretations for different people. Just like uh, a book will have you focus on certain aspects of it which resonate with you and certain aspects of it that don't resonate with you. So sometimes what happens is that we would have read a book today and we would have got XYZ out of it or nothing at all out of it. And five years from now, I read that same book and I get everything from it. I understand everything it has to say and it resonates with me so well because I have changed the way I look at life. My perception of life has changed. So you have to understand that when you uh, look at life, you are looking at a book and reading a book. And sometimes when it makes no sense, it isn't that the book makes no sense or life makes no sense. It's that you aren't um, perceiving it the way you want, you would like your life to be. You're perceiving life to be a place uh, that doesn't resonate with a book. Let's put it that way. So, when you're reading a book, you read word by word. And when you take those words and keep it separately, does it make any sense? No, it doesn't. Right? It's only when those words come together to make a sentence and a paragraph and a story does it make any sense to you. Life is such. When you focus on only fear or only sadness or only uh, destruction or um, danger, all of that will come to you, but it will make no sense to you. Why is this happening to me? That's the question most people ask. Why is this happening to me? Well, to put it plainly to you, it is not happening to you, as a lot of people have said. It is happening for you. And life is always happening for you, as Jim Carrey says also. That life happens for you, not to you. Why? Because you are the one creator of your life. It's not anything external. You create your life by focusing on what you want. So, when you perceive something in life, Yes, in the initial stages, it could be because of experience. I've experienced XX, experienced so and so things in my life, but that doesn't have to be how your life is and why your life is the way it is. You can change that. You can make sure that life, your life, is abundant. It's beautiful. It's filled with happiness. It's filled with people who really uh, look up to you. It's um, a, a place where. Um, you can choose what you want in it. Now, you might ask, how do I choose what is in it when I don't have the resources for it? Let's put it this way. You have all the resources you need. And all the resources isn't the material aspects that you have, like money or car or buildings or houses, or whatever it is. It is you. The only resource you need is you. And you have everything in it. Your resource is your ability to learn, to know new things, to be curious about new things, to know that life is more than just what, what is presented to me right today. That is where awareness comes into the picture. Awareness isn't a like a lot of people say, awareness is about, oh, I knew something was going to happen. I was aware of something going to happen and it happened. It's not about predicting the future. Awareness is about being right here in the present and knowing everything that's happening right here, right now. Including your thought patterns, including how you behave, what you're thinking, how your language is. Um, and when you're aware of all of this, you tend to be able to identify what is working and what isn't working for me. And from that space, you get to either 
um, educate yourself, improve yourself, learn new skills, do whatever it takes to improve those aspects for yourself. So when you start improving those aspects, when you start getting new um, avenues open, if you, if you, if I can say that, um, is that you start seeing life changing in front of you. Yes, there is effort required. Effort from your thoughts, not necessarily physical effort, effort that's required. The first thing you have to start doing is thinking right. Not thinking that life is horrible, but life is beautiful. And everything I want will come to me because I want it to come to me. And step by step, it's like trying to play a video game and um, in the first step itself trying to beat the boss or the last level. Not going to be possible because you don't have the skills, you don't know how the game works, you don't know, you've not uh, accumulated enough skill points or whatever it may be. It's the same thing with life. You have to understand that most of the things that you see around is a reflection of life and how it works. You look a little deeper into it and you'll identify it. Every single thing. So the first steps that you take is small ones. And do not take larger steps so uh, and, and not be able to accomplish something because that will get, um, put you back again. You, you'll make, make you feel like, oh, I'm not worth it. I can't do it. Don't do that. No baby has ever run a 100 meter race. Babies always crawl first before they can stand and before they can walk. It takes steps, right? It's the same thing that we do. Take those first steps as something that can be achievable. That you know, I've not done it, but let me try and see if I can do it. And when you achieve those small steps, you are able to achieve a sense of accomplishment. And that accomplishment drives you to get a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more and that drive will get you what you want in life the only way you get what you want is when you're happy with who you are so that is what um, comes together when you're aware and awareness and perception are two things in your life that we use every day how you perceive everything and how you are aware of everything makes a huge difference. A lot of times we are very focused on only what our belief system perceives life to be. So if I'm standing here and I perceive uh, only clouds everywhere or I don't have enough light or uh, there's uh, a lot of noise, whatever it is, that's what will come in. You see the wind coming in? The moment I spoke about it, it's not a magic. It's about how I perceive life. I perceive certain things and I direct my environment to give me exactly that. Uh, we're all made of particles, right? We're all made of the elementary particles of life. And these elementary particles are electrons, photons, bosons, all of these are small elementary particles that make up everything in the universe. So when you're made of the same things that the universe is made of, what makes you think that you cannot affect it? Yes, we are made to believe that this is real, this is solid, this is how life is, and there is nothing more to life than this. I'm sorry to burst the bubble, but there is a much bigger bubble out there that you can play or you can mold like a sand castle, if you may, into whatever you want it to be. And your perception is the first step to that. Make sure your belief and your perception change to what you want it to rather than what you've been fed all your life. Don't believe everything that is told to you or sold to you. Make it yourself. Make your life what you want it to be. And it isn't as difficult as, as people put it out to be. It isn't difficult. All you have to do is work on yourself. The moment your self-image builds up, the, the idea of self, who you are, how much you love yourself, 
not from a space of arrogance, but from a space, from a space of acceptance, love, um, a, a place where you are, you know everything can uh, be what you want it to be. The moment you have guilt, the moment you uh, have done something wrong, there is a sense of guilt that comes into you. And that guilt in itself is something that will stop you from achieving what you want. And what everybody calls this karma is what I believe is that. So I hope this has made some sense to you as far as perception and awareness is concerned. Uh, because I've had a lot of uh, to's and to and fro's with a lot of people on what it actually means. And through my experience of life, I've actually seen things changing in my life based on my perception, based on what I'm aware of in my present world, in my present right now, whether I am um, going using what I want based on my perceptual beliefs or am I aware of what's around and I can am I choosing what I want in my reality to be my present and my future the future isn't written remember that the future is something that you create step by step so if you like what you heard do like and subscribe to us press the bell icon if you want to see more videos or, or be notified of more videos uh, that are coming up and uh, I'll see you again in our next episode of tell thank you very much have a great day bye bye